After the Cold War, the Germans had their own challenges in strategy and for a structure to create frigates classes different from those previously built. The first Gulf War was a prime example of post-Cold War operations, showing that larger, longer ranged and more capable surface combatants would be required to operate alongside their American counterparts to support activities along the Eurasian littoral against hostile states. A small number of these more capable ships also meet the requirements of European parliaments, thereby reducing the level of this defense force and budget. Along with other European warships, such as the Dutch the Seven Provinces, the Franco-Italian multipurpose frigate frame ships, the German Sixth class represents the development of today's frigate design. Compared to the past frigate ships, these ships are a quantum improvements over their Cold War predecessors. The Section class occupies a special place in the structure of the German Navy, which is closer to the United States Alibert class destroyer than the previous frigate designs. The Saxon class, also known as the F-124 class, was among the most important air defense frigates of the German Navy. The class is based on the F-123 Brandenburg predecessor, but emphasizes advanced stealth capabilities, designed to deceive the opponent's freighter and acoustic sensors. Although it carries the F symbol, which is in the frigate segment, but the Saxon is actually a destroyer with a full displacement of 5,800 tons. The ship is 143 meters long, the beam is 17.44 meters, and the draft is 6 meters. The Saxon Air Defense Frigate class consisted of three ships, ordered by the German government in 1996 at a cost of 2.1 billion euros, or 700 million euros each. The three frigates include the lead ship F-219 Saxon, followed by F-220 Hamburg, and the third F-221 Hessen. The Saxon F-219 was commissioned in 2003. The other two were in 2004 and 2006, respectively. The Saxon class is considered one of the most advanced warships, fitted with a variety of advanced American and European weapons and equipment, and it is also one of the most expensive German shipbuilding programs. Saxon's hull design is inherited from the previous Brandenburg class. The advanced their technology has been applied to reduce radar signature significantly, helping to hide themselves from the enemy radar. The ships were built using the micro material construction and incorporate seven watertight compartments, allowing for easy maintenance and flexibility to add new weapons and sensors in the future. To operate, the frigates need a crew of 230 sailors and can accommodate additional 13 aircrews as part of a squadron commander's staff. They can operate continuously for 21 days at sea without supply ships. The F-124 class is equipped with a combined diesel and gas propulsion system, driving two shots, controllable pitch propellers. These include two MTUV-20 diesel engines, producing 7.4 MW each, combined with one general electric LM-2500 gas turbine. The ships can reach a maximum speed of 29 knots, a range of up to 4000 knots, at a fuel economy speed of 18 knots. Like other new generation frigates, the Section class also has a fly deck and hangar to accommodate two ceilings marked 88A or two NH-90 helicopters. To increase anti-ship warfare, helicopters can be equipped with torpedoes, air-to-surface missiles sea skewer, and heavy machine gun. The Saxon's combat system revolves around APAR and Smart Air multifunction radars. 
Apara is the first active voice array radar for warships developed by Thales Netherlands. Its structure consists of four radar arrays fixed on four sides, similar to the ANSPY-1 of the Aegis system, providing 360-degree coverage and no latency. Each radar array has 324 transceivers operating on the X-band, simultaneously tracking general area targets from 150 km and 75 km with surface targets, guiding 32 semi-active radar homing missiles in flight simultaneously, including 16 in the terminal guidance phase. Meanwhile, Smart Air is a long-range air and surface surveillance radar based on the D-band, working in passive mode with 16 transmitters and 8 receivers. It was also developed by Thales Lesland to support RPAR. The Smart Air Radar has a maximum range of 400 km with area targets and 65 km for steel missiles. An upgraded software later expanded to 480 km and identified in the container ballistic missiles from 1,000 km, simultaneously tracking 1,000 air targets or 100 surface targets. These ships were optimized for the anti-air warfare role. The primary anti-air weapons are the 32 Sierra Mark 41 Mod 10 vertical launching system, equipped with 24 SM2 Block 3A missiles and 32 Evo C Sparrow missiles. Power defense against cruise missiles is provided by a pair of 21 round rolling airframe missile launchers. The ships are also equipped with two 4 cell RSGM 84 Harpoon anti ship missile launchers. In 2013, the German Navy considered modifying the ship's long range shot radar to allow the SM2 missiles to be used in an anti ballistic missile capacity. For defense against anti submarines, the frigates carry two cheaper launchers for the 324mm MQ-90 impact torpedoes. The ships also carry a variety of guns, including one dual-purpose 62 caliber 76mm gun manufactured by Otto Mera. They are also armed with two Rheinmetall 27mm MLG-27 remote control autocannons in a single mouse. The ship's electronic cannon missile squid includes an EADS system and defense electronics FL1800S2 ECM system and six significant high core Super ROBC launchers, which fire draft and flares. The ship is equipped with a Thales Lesland series IRST long range infrared surveillance and tracking sensor. STN Atlas MSP 500 Electro Optical Fire Control System provides targets acquisition and tracking for the main gun. The bow sonar is the STN Atlas Electronic DSQS 24B. The Zexen class air defense frigate has two variants: the Seven Provinsen and Everhutfeld, serving in the Dutch and Danish Navy. The displacement of these variants increased to 6,000 tons and 6,000 second returns, armed with 32 SM2 Block 3A missiles and 32 RIM-160 Evo C Sparrow missiles. Compared to the Aegis destroyers and cruisers currently serving in the US Navy, the Aliber and Ticonderoga, the Zexen frigates are more highly regarded in the surveillance radar their weapons are also much more diverse. My video of F124 Sixth Class Frigate ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.